Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain force and torque on electric dipole due to uniform electric field. So first of all, I'll explain you calculation of force on electric dipole due to uniform electric field. So first of all, you should know what is uniform electric field. See, uniform electric field means electric field that is constant at every location over here. So here you have uniform electric field means in this entire region, magnitude of electric field that is constant, right? Now to understand force calculation, first of all, let us place electric dipole here. What is electric dipole? Electric dipole is having two charges. One is positive charge and second is negative charge. It is having two charges with equal magnitude and opposite polarity. So here we have plus Q charge and here we have minus Q charge. And in between these two charge, here we have origin. And as per standard notations, separation between two charges, that is 2A, means with respect to origin, plus Q charge is having separation of A and with respect to origin, minus Q charge is having separation A. In total distance between these two charge, that is 2A. Now, let me explain you calculation of force. So, let me tell you one thing. See, as and when you calculate force on charge, at that time you should know, on positive charge, force will be there in the direction of electric field. So, here we have positive charge. Electric field is there in this direction. So, force will also act in same direction as it is there in electric field direction and it is Q into E. So, plus Q charge that is having force Q into E and minus Q charge that is having force that is minus Q into E. So, on negative charge, force is there in opposite direction to the direction of electric field and on positive charge, force is there in the direction of electric field. So, what is total force? Total force that is algebraic sum of these two forces that is Q into E minus Q into E, right? That is zero. What it means? It means this dipole doesn't have any physical displacement. See, force explains what? Force explains that due to force, how physical displacement happens, right? If resultant force on the body is zero, then there won't be any physical displacements on the body provided body is stationary initially, right? So because of this force, because of this force, there is no physical displacement means this origin of this dipole that will remain at this location only if body is stationary initially, right? Now, let me explain you calculation of torque. So, first of all, one should know, why should we calculate torque? See, torque is calculated to understand rotational motion of body. So, as if body is rotating, then one can say there is a torque on body. So, here you can observe, see, we are applying force on plus Q and minus Q. By magnitude, it is Q into E with plus Q. And on minus Q, it is minus Q into E. But because of this force, is it like this dipole is having rotational movement? Let us identify it. So, what is torque? Torque is R cross F. So, on positive charge, torque is R cross F. What is F on positive charge? It is Q into E. Now, you need to understand what is R. See, R is position vector. R is position vector. And we calibrate position with respect to origin. Here you can observe with this body, origin is over here. So, this positive charge that is having vector R, that is this vector. Now, vector R that is having which direction? It is having direction which is there in the direction of A. One should know with dipole direction of A that happens from minus Q to plus Q. So, here vector R that is 
having vector a over here the reason is plus q charge he is having direction of vector a so torque is a cross q into e right so you should know this with electric dipole vector a that is having direction from minus q to plus q charge so here minus q to plus q charge that is having direction that is there in this direction right so here r is a f is q into e now let us talk about torque on negative charge so what is r with negative charge r that is happening in this direction so if plus q is having vector a then with minus q this vector r will be minus a the reason is minus q is in opposite direction to the direction of plus q with respect to origin right so here this r that is minus a and this f that is minus q into e so what is tau minus q minus a cross minus q e so this minus minus that is getting plus so a cross q e that one can say right in total it is a cross q e only why the reason is minus minus that is getting plus over here now i'll explain you total torque so total torque that is algebraic sum of this two torque so that is two times of a cross q into e now here you need to understand one thing see this torque that can be represented in form of dipole moment so what is dipole moment dipole moment that is 2a q so here you can observe 2a 2a that is a spacing between two charges into magnitude of one charge that is dipole moment so 2a q that is dipole moment over here right so if you place dipole moment over here which is 2a q is equals to p then torque is equals to p cross e so because of this uniform electric field this dipole will be having rotational moment but that dipole doesn't have any displacement moment why the reason is for displacement moment total force that should be something here total force on this dipole due to uniform electric field is zero q e minus q e that is zero but total torque is p cross e because of uniform electric field means because of uniform electric field with this dipole there is rotational moment but no displacement moment right so this is very essential one should know because of uniform electric field there won't be any displacement moment but there will be rotational moment with dipole and that rotational moment can be calculated by torque that is p cross e where p is 2a q that is dipole moment and one should know what is the direction of a direction of a that is there from minus q to plus q charge right so that is how basic fundamentals are there i hope you have enjoyed this session still if anything that i would like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video